very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking actually I was planning to make a live trading video today uh, but I decided that it's actually more important to talk about how do I trade Forex on my day trading sessions uh, how do I make living from Forex what are my plans what are my money management all of that need to be answered because I'm sure it's a very important aspect uh, just doing some live trades doesn't cover what money management we should do or follow now I want to mention that what I will say here is actually aiming the beginners and the mid-level of traders uh, the professionals most likely they already have their own way and their own money management in trading Forex uh, otherwise they won't be professionals already so for the beginners and mid-level let me tell you this what I'm doing actually is um, a bit risky because the way I'm doing my trades every day might actually n not be good for everyone I just have to share it here because I've been asked this question frequently now let me tell you something did you ever notice that my trading account is always small like two hundred dollars three hundred dollars maybe five hundred and sometimes uh, it was never above one thousand dollars there is a good reason for that uh, let me just uh, show it to you here so um, the thing that is actually working for me um, let me just explain to you my man management or my mentality in trading Forex now let's say for example you are a, you are a trader and you have let's say for example ten thousand dollars account in your trading account all right so what you will do with this with this ten thousand dollars you will do you will, what you will do is you will just keep trading with it right so let's say you you did well and this ten thousand dollars has become ten thousand five hundred dollars so you have made a profit of five hundred dollars which is really good now the point here is when are you going to stop or what's next what's next now after making this five hundred dollars what's the next move what you will do most likely 90% 99% of the traders they will just get greedy they will enjoy making profit they will just want more money so they will just keep trading so the 10,500 if you did well uh, it's gonna be let's say for example $12,000 which is really good so now we are on $2,000 profit what you will do next keep trading what you will do is you will just keep trading this money you will not think about I should keep this money I should do something I should save it or I, sh I should return some of the investment what you will do actually is you will just keep trading keep trading keep trading until one day you just blow your account because that was the only way to stop you from trading you never set a plan for yourself you never set a plan that I should actually if I made a, a twelve thousand dollars profit here or sorry a two thousand dollars and my account now has it has become twelve uh, twelve thousand dollars you never set a plan that I should bring back or recover some of my initial deposit now that is sadly what is happening to the most of the traders that is the reason why a lot of people actually losing in Forex they blaming the strategy they blaming the broker they blaming the market they blaming the the market makers they never bl blame themselves or sorry themselves they should blame themselves because that is what that was their fault they never set a plan of what will the, what they will do next so what is the right thing to do here the right thing in my opinion which has been running very well for me and uh, I have been trading uh, like that consistently for more than four years already and it has bring uh, consistent profit for me uh, is this for example I set in my account 800 or $1,000 uh, and I'm just preparing that to be used for trading purposes so what I will do is I will not put all of that money in my trading account I will just uh, make it in chunks I will split it into 200 200 200 200 for example so I will deposit $200 in my account okay so what I will do next and that is the the thing that I'm doing wrong and I really feeling ashamed to explain it here for everyone is I will go full lot on the first trade first trade I will go risky because what I want to do is I want to make the biggest uh, profit possible quickly uh, bec I will explain the reason later so let's say for example um, I made uh, 60 
to seventy dollars profit from uh, from the first trade. So now this two hundred dollars has become seventy dollars. Two hundred sorry, two hundred seventy dollars. Now what is the next move I will do? And let me go back to the reason why I'm using lot size and why I want to make big profit quickly. Because what I will do next is I will trade with only this profit that I have made. So the next trade I'm opening, it will be a little bit risky, but controlled a little bit so if i was using as um, one lot size next trade will be like 0 0.6 or 0 0.5 like that it will be just reduced however what i will do is i will just risk the profit that i have made so i will open another trade open trade and i will risk the 70 dollars i have made so by the end of the day, if everything went well, I will finish the account in like 350 or $400. And here's the fun part. What I will do now is I will withdraw my initial profit. So now what I will do next is I will just trade the profit. Pure profit have been made from Forex. My initial deposit has been recovered to my account. So um, initial, initial deposit, $200. Profit made uh, $200. Now, with a total is becoming $400. Then I will withdraw $200. And right now, I have $200 pure profit for trading. Now, and that, from that point, I will start trading over from $200. Then this $200 will become $500 or 700 depends on the situation uh, that is how I actually do how I'm doing actually my day trading that is my day trading plan is always recover always recover the initial deposit that is the most important thing you can do ever when you are trading um, in Forex now the question is why small sizes why don't you just put the $800 or $1,000 one time and grow that account right that is a good question why using only $200, not the whole $1,000? The reason is because I'm a human and I know myself. I, um, I, I have some rage issues here. Maybe sometimes I will get angry if I lose a big amount. Maybe sometimes I will just um, re want to revenge the market. We always sometimes, you know, we are a human being, right? So we always have this problem that we... Uh, we we try to control ourselves, but sometimes we just fail. That's, therefore, I have built this system here. It is working very well for me because it's all about mentality game. It's all a big mental game, my friends. When you have a small lot account, when you, sorry, when you have a small size account, uh, you will try hard to save that, right? So let's say in my worst cases and worst scenarios, my loss will be $200. Now I can, I can deposit another two hundred dollars from the initial one thousand I have, but I don't want to reach that point. I have set my mind that this is how I do my trades, um, and I really very rarely using two deposits in a week. Rarely, usually this is what I'm doing: depositing like one fifty or two hundred, and then tweak or trade that account, make it grow. It's, it happened rarely actually that I have blown the account. And the first trade, because as I said, the first trade is risky. Here I said the full lot on the first trade. And of course, I would be a liar or a cheater if I said that this never has failed. No, it has failed. Sometimes it is failing. And this account um, is just become like $40, $50. And I just deposit another 100 or another 150 to recover it and then I will open another trade and I will just hopefully recover the losses plus make some profits. So the whole point that I want to share here in this video with you, let me just tell you something here. Let me tell you something. The big mistake that the trader is doing, let me go to back to the first step. When they are trading and they keep trading and keep trading and keep trading, they, the only way to stop them is blowing their account. Now, the right thing to do with these big accounts, what we said here is about $200 or a small initial, initial deposit. Now, what do you do when you have this big amount? It's very simple. What you will do here, instead of blowing your account, you can blow your account or 
once you made for example uh, if you have initial deposit of ten thousand dollars and now you have made a five hundred dollars profit the right thing to do is withdraw five hundred dollars immediately get back your investment don't keep it there don't keep it in the platform if it's there you will risk actually losing it so what you will do is you will have now again ten thousand dollars in your account for trading plus that is in, in trading account now you have that plus five hundred dollars uh, in skrill or whatever or in the bank it is there it is safe and the good thing is it is gonna take some time to be withdrawn to your account so you really cannot do anything with it you cannot change your mind so now the good thing is your deposit has become nine thousand five hundred instead of five hundred uh, ten thousand so let's say you have made a good profit of uh, let's assume it is three thousand dollars three thousand dollars profit from your account so now the total amount you have is thirteen thousand dollars that is in your account in your trading account sorry in your trading account what you will do now withdraw three thousand right so if when you when you withdraw three thousand dollars you have gotten back this account uh, money your initial deposit is coming back to you and right now you still have again ten thousand dollars when you, when you have this ten thousand dollars you have to keep in mind that seven thousand of them is the is uh, initial deposit plus three k three thousand profit you have to set this in your mind because that is the best way to understand that this money has been already recovered in your bank account don't think that this money is gone of course it is just not in your trading account it is only in your bank account and that is three thousand here you have is pure profit you have made from trading you have to keep this going over and over until you finally reach the point when you have ten thousand dollars account pure profit and that is the real success that is the real uh, profit you have made right now what you did you doubled your money but in slowly you cannot double this amount in one day when you have two hundred dollars account or one fifty dollars account it's actually okay to try to double it in one trade for me I'm saying here this is for me again what I'm saying here might not be suitable for everyone and I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with me and I am agreeing with them to disagree with me. Of course, they have to disagree because this system really cannot work for everyone. To be honest, I am just trying to be honest as much as possible here on my channel. Uh, this system I'm using might not be suitable for everyone. And uh, some other people, they just want to trade big account. And therefore, I'm trying here to show you the best way we can do, uh, we can trade with the big accounts. So again, when you have, the, uh, when you grow your account and you're finally able to double it, a uh, pure profit is ten thousand dollars plus ten thousand dollars back in your account and they are safe so what you will do now your initial deposit is totally safe with you in your account now you have only the profit you have made to trade so it's like steps when you let me just say that let me just summarize it to end the video when you make a deposit when you make a deposit um always try to recover um, as much as possible from that deposit and always trade your profit um always make sure my friends that your initial deposit is safe with you in your bank account and if you are able to deposit ten thousand dollars and trade with them Please be careful. Don't keep trading over and over until you, you blow your account. Now, I don't want to say what to do in the case we lose money here because that is actually uh, might take another video when you lose a trade here. And uh, just to summarize it, you just need to keep trading again, but be careful. Tra use a smaller lot sizes instead of big sizes. And that is all what I can say, to be honest with you. What I'm saying here is how to handle your money management in case you are making some good profits. Um, and I don't want you to keep trading over and over and over until you blow your account. You always be sure that you withdraw your profit, sorry, your initial deposit and only trade with the profits. So 
I really hope this will be good information for a lot of people who are seeking a good money management plan and I will be sure to use this uh, mentality in trading the next time I do the live trading session I will focus on my deposit to show you and I will show you also how we can handle and maybe I can do some uh, withdraw front of you live on uh, the video so let me just uh, finish this video with that and I really hope this will help a lot of uh, beginners in, the, in their day trading I highly recommend you to give it a try give it a shot to do this kind of trading and hopefully it will be okay for you so in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching